There was great celebration in the Holy Land for the canonization of the two Palestinian saints, especially at the places commemorating St. Mary Alphonsine Gatas and St. Mariam of Jesus Crucified Bawadi. The Christians who could not go to Rome gathered together to experience this important moment for the church. Starting in the evening of Saturday, May the 16th, prayers and vigils were held at the church where St. Mary Alphonsine's bones were kept, at the convent of the Rosary Sisters in the Mamilla neighborhood of Jerusalem. Then, on the morning of Sunday, May the 17th, just before the celebration in Rome, a large group gathered for Mass, and immediately afterwards, the faithful were able to follow the event live from the Vatican on giant screens that were set up for the occasion. At the moment of the papal proclamation, the celebration erupted into music and dancing. Mariam Alfonsina Daniel Gatas et Mariam a Jesu Crucifixo Bawadri. All of the events were broadcast live by the Christian Media Center in Jerusalem. I am a member of St. Mary Alfonsine's family. This certainly is a great honor. The fact that Marie Alphonsine is from my family and from this land makes me very proud because she lived in the land where I live. I'm very fond of this saint. All of the Christians in the world today would love to be here. It is a cause of great pride for us Christians in Jerusalem. <laughs> Today we celebrate an important historical moment that is a great grace for the Middle East, for the land of holiness and for the church as we celebrate the canonization of the two saints from our country on the altars of the Universal Church. This is an important and historic event for us, who are Christians in the Holy Land. Not only Jerusalem, but the entire Holy Land took part in this event. At the Carmelite convent founded by Mariam Bawaldi in Bethlehem, a prayer vigil attracted a great number of participants. And at her hometown, Ibelin in Galilee, there was an evening procession to the chapel dedicated to the new saint. <laughs> Since I am from Nazareth, I'm one of Mariam Bawardi's neighbors. I often go to her house to pray, so I feel close to her. We have a corner in our house dedicated to Mariam Bawardi. From the Holy Sepulchre, the Christian announcement that later reached the corners of the earth was first made to Mary Magdalene, thus to a woman. If it were not for the Madonna, Jesus would not have become flesh. I ask the two saints to intercede for us, for our families, our churches, and our people. And I ask them to intercede for the Middle East, to look at the suffering, the injustice, and the persecution so that the saints may send joy and hope to us to all of those who are experiencing this tribulation. We ask God to give strength to all those who are persecuted in the Middle East, and I ask the saints to intercede for them to God. May he give them patience. Christ suffered on this earth, and we suffer like him.